someone who is in charge of an organization, a senior executive. It doesn't matter if it's a business organization or a public organization or a non-governmental organization. It doesn't matter. If you're a senior manager, you know, C-class or C-suite executive, a CEO, a government minister, a prime minister, even a head of state, although in the case of head of state it's going to be a little more complicated, but you'll get the point now. If you are in that position, in charge of a department, an organization, a company, a ministry, you have one of three main situations that you will have to deal with. Either the organization or the department or the ministry or the country is on the right track, in good shape, and all what is needed is fine-tuning, more efficiency, more productivity, minor adaptation, slight changes. You know, you're on the right course and things are great. You just need to optimize a good situation. That's scenario number one. There is another scenario where the organization or the country or the ministry or the department is not on the right track. It is not on the right track. So what is needed is to put it on the right track. And for that, you need more than just fine tuning. It is more than optimization or a matter of efficiency or productivity. You need transformation. I'll give you a common global or globally known example and that's what happened to IBM when it moved from being a hardware you know um, heavy machinery computing machinery organization into more towards a consulting or a consultancy organization. That kind of shift required transformational leadership and this is scenario number two. A third scenario is where you want to take the organization or the department or the country or the ministry to a level that is a world-class level. You become a pioneer. And for that, I can use the example of Apple when Steve Jobs came back to Apple, how he transformed the organization beyond just efficiency and productivity, beyond just transformation, he turned it into a pioneering organization. Or let's say Lee Kuan Yew in Singapore, when he took over the leadership of the country, he transformed it into a world-class country. So there are these three scenarios that usually are the case when you are taking over such a, such a responsibility, when you are handed over such a challenge. Now, there could be scenarios that are in the middle, of course, multiple variations of those. But in general, to make things simple, I have categorized them into, you know, my gradual evolution and adaptation. Number one, number two, transformation. Number three, building a world-class pioneering organization, department, you know, line of business or a ministry or a country. <laughs>